at uh, in Cary, Biscuitville. I had a delicious, uh, spicy, honey uh, biscuit. But really, that's not the reason why I'm connecting. I um, I was sitting inside and uh, looking on the tele television. I saw a few situations where people um, were having difficult times in life and hopelessness and whatnot. And I just couldn't help it, but but think that I need to come out here and, and tell you that there is a power that transforms. Not something made up by me, not something that I'm inventing right now on the flash of a moment, but rather something that I have experienced over the last 31 years. Uh, see, 31 years ago, it looked like it was yesterday for me, but um, I didn't have the hope that I have today. I didn't have um, hope whatsoever. I, I had lost my, my sister uh, who unfortunately uh, at age 20 took her life. She, she found herself in such a hopeless situation moment. I don't know what it was. All I read was the, the goodbye note uh, and, and um, years had gone by and I come to realize that what she had tasted and I don't know why she wasn't given that chance or maybe she had the chance and she rejected it I don't know but what she had known what I know what I have experienced during the last 31 years things would have been different um, the Bible says that the same power the same power that rose Jesus Christ from the death is in us it's in you it's in those of us who has allowed him to come into our lives and and, and fill us and, and give us hope give us resurrection power so I remember it was in 1992 my son David Fernandez um, at the time he was probably two years old I was playing with him we were playing uh, Tatiana him and I and 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 I was kind of like bouncing him in the air like this and all of a sudden he made a movement laughing giggling and he fell and when he fell he bent his neck and he bent his back to the point that the back of his head touched the back of his feet and we heard a crack my my wife and I heard a crack and my wife began to scream and the baby was there on the on the bed laying lifeless um i touched him he 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 got cold pretty pretty fast and he got purple and my wife touched him and she she had finished her schooling and had done some cpr and and some um i guess emt basic training and and she she said that he was dead and i remember she screamed and said let's call the ambulance let's call the police and i, I was so anguished and so desperate at the time we had just overstay our visa in the u.s and i was just so frantic thinking that they'll come and they will not think that it was plain but that that we did it for whatever reason and i said to her no no let's pray and I remember walking over to the living room with nothing in my mind other than I need to find a Bible. And I went and grabbed the Bible and I walked right back into the room where this had happened. And I walked in, I didn't have a verse in my mind that I wanted it to open. All I had was uh, a, des a desire to, to, to see something happen to my son. And I remember I opened the Bible like at random. I just opened it. And when I opened it, I put my eyes on the verse that was in front of me and he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even though he's dead, he should rise. And I read that out loud with, I don't know, it was like a moment of faith. And I read it out loud and out of the blue, Jeremy, I mean, David, oh my goodness, we have six kids. But David, my son, opened his eyes and he sat up smiling. 
and all the paleness have gone away, all the all the uh, bluish have gone away. He looked perfectly normal. We we went to a doctor to follow up, and they say, the, the, mm, "Are you sure that this happened?" Story short is the same power that rose Jesus Christ from the dead exists today and it is available yesterday which is past and you cannot change it's available today which is happening and you can use and and can transform and it is available tomorrow what are you going to do with your circumstances i know what i did in a moment of desperation and and to be honest with you if we are theologically correct here i didn't do anything based on some pre-knowledge that if I did this, this could happen. I was just in a desperate situation. I guess that even in Christianity, that saying that um, difficult situations are the mother of, of all inventions. My invention at the moment was grab a Bible and open it. But the word that came out of that word, of that book, was so alive that it was just more than letters. He was living, resurrecting power. David, my son, is today 28, 29. Sorry, David, for not remembering exactly. He's married. He's in the process of buying his second home. Has a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous wife. More than gorgeous physically. An amazing woman who loved God and loved David like no one else had loved him. Well, not, not more than Jesus loves him, but... I'm talking about humanly speaking. What is your problem? What troubles you this morning? Please, as you watch this video, know it's coming from a very common and simple guy. My name is Ramiro Fernandez. Nothing extraordinary about me other than I'm handsome and I'm from Colombia. But other than that, nothing that makes me worthy of God's grace. And by the way, you're not worthy either. However, he gives you grace because grace is free. And he gives it to you 